Right, so I streamed this live on Twitch last night and I thought I'd share it. This is the knockout stages of the World Cup with Panama. Uh, got through to the quarterfinal having beaten Poland and then faced Brazil in this game here. I uh, didn't realise how good it was going to be, so here we go. Uh, Brazil with their first attack here. And then we win the ball off them and have a wild counter-attack. Amazing through ball then. Look at this from Torres. Unbelievable! Oh. So 1-0. What a cool little finish that was. Just passing it past Edison there. Helplessly looking back. Rubbish. Brazil then come on the attack, but look at this for a tackle. Amazing. In the box. Um, and then we have a little break down the right hand side. Cooper to Perez. Good bit of interplay there to Torres. Out to the right hand side, a little pop up there for Sporkle on the right hand side of the screen. And then Perez brought down there by Miranda in the box. Off you go, Sunshine. Red card. Penalty to us. Edison, do you know who I am? Do you realize what you've just done? Cheerio, Miranda. They make a substitution. Marquinhos coming on. I am rubbish at FIFA, so I do need the little arrow. 2 0 to Panama. Brazil down to 10 men. And then Brazil come back into the game here. Little corner routine. Can't clear it away, I'm trying to be too fancy, passing it out to Marcello and Coutinho. And then an own goal, it goes down, as, as you'll see here in a moment. A big deflection off my centre back, taking it away from the goalkeeper. Then Brazil have a few half chances. I have this half chance. Um, and then we go into half time. The Panamanians, very, very happy, 2 1 up. Uh, dreaming of a semi final. And then we give the ball away straight from the kickoff. And then love this little bit of play. Win the ball back really well. And then, oh, uh. <laughs> oh dear. Brazil then come forward again. Fabinho has a shot which is saved. And then another shot from Coutinho. And then a great save there. Tipped over the bar. Make a double substitution because my players are tired. Brazil hit the post. Brazil with a pathetic little shot. Great block from me. I love this goalkeeping, bang scissor kicked up the pitch and then does it come to anything oh, hello side netting and oh, we're through again terrible defending by Brazil and in the back of the net, 3-1 with 5 minutes to go, unbelievable scenes here Pierre, what's his name? Pin, Pintel? Pintel? I don't know. Pintel inside. <coughs> cool little finish. Top corner. Thank you for coming, Brazil. Yamat. There we go. There we have it. Court finals. Panama 3, Brazil 1. Put your money on that. There's pandemonium. Pandemo pandemonium in the in the stands. Ah, Crimea River. Gabriel Torres there, two shots, two goals. Coutinho, forlorn. So there we go. Group stage is done. Through to the semi-finals then against Denmark, having them beaten Russia, who beat Spain in the last sixteen. Crazy the other semi final France against Germany in St. Petersburg Stadium. Here we go, then semi final Denmark Panama to face either Germany or France in the final. And we get a book in straight away for Larson. And then love, look at that bit of skill jumping over the ball. Half a chance there for Panama. They come forward again on the right hand side, cuts inside. Oh, beats his man, lays it off then to Torres. And it's saved by Schmeichel, and the follow up is into the side netting. A great save there by the Panamanian goalkeeper. Harsh shot from close in, he just gets his hand to tip it over the bar. Minutes later, another great save. Panama then 
but volley from the edge of the box is dipping, but Schmeichel gets a hand to it, and that's half-time, nil-nil, very tight, cagey game with a few chances in it. Could go either way this game. Really could. <coughs> chance for Panama, turns on the edge of the box, hits it, oh my goodness me, what a great finish, right footed, curling it around, Perez has been one of the stars of this tournament, curls it around, just on the inside of that post, here come Denmark straight away, and look at that terrible defending, steps forward and leaves Christian Eriksen to go through on goal, from about 20 yards out, he smashes it in, great, great play, lovely stuff. And then this chance here, chested down, passed into the centre so centre spot, and a big sulk there from Torres. Another easy miss, I think he was offside there. Another chance from the six-yard line. Panama battering Denmark at the moment, but they just can't find that goal. Can they do it here? It's Quintero, cuts inside. Perez, Torres, Torres! Oh, yes, please, thank you. Here we go again then, Panama with about 10 minutes to go, can we get grab another one? Here he goes, oh it just sneaks in, it's 3-1 to Panama. Lovely jubbly, Torres having the game of his life here in the semi-final and Panama, he's so excited he's disappeared, look. And then I got so excited that I skipped the replay. A couple of chances now, they even bring Schmeichel up, but can't, not as good as his dad in the box. And we win the ball, hoof it upfield, can't make anything really happen from it. Oh, another chance here, can we break away? Perez, through on goal, but he's got no legs left. Shot straight at Schmeichel, and then he goes straight through the back of him. Could that be Perez out of the World Cup final? No, he gets away with a booking. And there we go, Panama in the World Cup final. They'll face either France or Germany. We'll find out now. It is going to be France. <laughs> and Germany finished third there, 2-1 against Denmark, and we move on to the Luzhniki Stadium against France. And a fantastic journey with the Panamanians. <laughs> There it is, the famous old trophy. Can Panama be the ninth team to have their name etched on the trophy, or will France win it for the first time in 20 years? <clears throat> Here we go then. Panama in the World Cup final against Viva la France. Is a chance for France early on. Ooh, not far away there. Here's a half chance for Panama over the bar. Early exchanges, fairly even. France look more comfortable in possession. Here we go. Griezmann, good play in the box, and Griezmann makes it 1 0 to France after 13 minutes. We haven't seen Panama behind yet. How will they react to that lovely generic Griezmann celebration? Half chance there for Panama. It's all they're limited to at the moment. Easy. Panama again. Can they get an equaliser here? No. Griezmann through to Lamar. Can he get a decent ball into the box? He can. And Mbappe is there to make it 2-0. This is going to be very, very difficult for Panama to come back from this. You really do feel that they are up against it now. Lamar again causing trouble down that left-hand side. Punched away by the goalkeeper. And then just terrible in possession. Griezmann. And we hoof it away. That'll be half-time. Not, not the game that we've been hoping for. Panama had done so well. So well. Here's a chance now. It chips into the box. And straight at the goalkeeper. Ah, uh, it's a penalty. This is going to be 3-0 here. Beloy could be sent off in the World Cup final as well. The captain of Panama. Lenient from the ref. Lacazette. Oh, he's at the post. Rubbish. Arsenal. Great tackle there. Can we build on that? We need to get a goal now. 
and here we go here's the chance no now here's the chance oh good save by the goalkeeper and France cleared away surely that's it 30 seconds left Panama have been so heroic throughout this World Cup but they have fallen short against France in the World Cup final and they have it Giroud celebrates as the Panamanians lie distraught on the floor. A great effort by them, but just not good enough in the end. And poor Pogba, with a, a regular short back and sides there, no colours in his hair, lifts the trophy. And thank you for watching. Subscribe and let me know what other teams you'd like me to do this with. And goodbye.